There's Kathy. We're up early this morning because we are taking this cool Jeep. We're gonna be heading east and we're going to the snow. We're going to Idlewild, California. But no trip is complete without coffee. That's right. Let's go. Well, this Jeep has inspired us to do a number of things to get out among the beauty that there is locally here in Southern California. But today we're doing something special because Kathy was inspired to get really cold. I, I don't know why. She normally doesn't like cold. I always like snow. Maybe it's a certain kind of cold. Yes. Uh, when we go to Chicago, she wants to go when it's the absolute coldest possible. Yeah, but yeah. we're not going to Chicago. No, not Watch today. Out. Object on road ahead. But today we're going to go to Idlewild, which is about an hour and a half drive out towards Palm Springs. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot of snow. In fact, it's supposed to be snowing as we speak. Yay. I'm in for that. For you guys, we'll make it a short trip. Interesting note about Idlewild, we're only about 35 minutes away and we are still in the flatlands of Indio. We haven't gone up any hillside, any rolling hills. What are you gonna do, man? It's a long drive. Just arrived at Idlewild. Really cool motorcycle sculptures right there, but it's very snowy. Woo, look at that. It's about 32 degrees, not too bad. special coats on. They're heated from the inside. Stunningly beautiful up here. Snowed quite a bit already. Maybe a little bit more today, we'll see. We're gonna go to lunch 
at a place called La, La Casitas, Mexican place. Probably the best place up here. I don't know, but we love it. They're not open just yet. But so. the doggies are all bundled up inside. We had the heater on, so we'll check on them in 10 minutes. We're gonna go play in the snow for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that's not a swimming pool out there. You have to. Go for it. It's kind of like a snow monster. Ooh, delicious. This is not as good as what we're about to eat. <laughs> Man, that's cold. <laughs> Kathy's stuck. Good job. On a picnic? Check out this cool car, right there. Not that one, not that one, that one. That last door was pretty weird. They had lots of samurai swords and, and really weird Japanese food. Weird shoes. Weird shoes, everything was weird. It was weird. to get selfies everywhere. Every two feet, another selfie. Here is unbelievable. So it is beautiful. such a winter wonderland. <laughs> These people are filling up the backs of their truck. The snow.
Good. What a spectacular day today. Incredible day. It just goes to show what you can do in a car like this. Not to say that you can't take a Toyota or a Hyundai or a Kia up to the snow, and you can't. You can go do that stuff. But the fun along the way in a Jeep, it just makes that journey so much more fun. There's just all kinds of things you can do. You just want to stop off and get pictures, of course, but you don't necessarily want to take a picture with your, your sedan in the background. You know, you got to take a picture with them the Jeep. It's a fun vehicle. It's an adventure vehicle and we had a blast. And not only did we have a blast uh, driving out there and then experiencing all the snow and kind of hanging out, it, the dogs don't normally get a chance to play in the snow too much. But on the drive home, we saw this. Unexpected, driving along, minding our own business. Uh, uh, notice a plume of smoke on the side of the freeway. Massive traffic in each direction and the car, there's a car on fire in flames. I mean, like, like Billy, look at that. You know, there's. I, you never know what you're gonna see. The trip today, Idlewild, what a spectacular little town. And that of course brings me to today's theme, which obviously is about inspiration. What exactly is inspiration? Anybody, anybody, anybody? You get an idea and, and it's really exciting. It's a really cool idea. You think you can kind of run with it and then you do. And then something really cool happens because of it. Case in point, Kathy got the idea of wanting to go to the snow just a day or two ago and voila, we decided to run with it. We decided uh, this would be a good thing. How do you recognize inspiration from like a regular thought. Well, inspiration, number one, is always positive. If you're inspired by an idea and you, you think it's cool, you think it's a cool idea, regardless of how you're gonna do it, if you just think it's a cool idea, then it's an inspired idea. We tend to build up brick walls and concrete and, and all kinds of things around us to say, well, you know, if I'm gonna do that, then I gotta jump over this, I gotta do that. That's all nonsense. What you gotta learn to do is when you get an inspired idea, you just gotta run with it. And if you run with it, then voila, your life gets better. There's all kinds of amazing things that happen. And I know that you want to make your life better. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You wouldn't be coming here and joining us on the blog because that's what we're about, making your life better. Thanks for watching. Get out there, people. Enjoy your life. Do what you need to do to make your life absolutely awesome.